Josh Soares going with number 97. He had number 19 earlier. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Dave Andrzejczyk Mountain Arena, where tonight the Stony Creek Generals are going to take on the Hamilton Steelhawks. Well, it's been a tale of which Hamilton Steelhawks team will show up tonight. After going for five wins in a row, they've all of a sudden lost a bunch in a row and now find their overall record at 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. Stony Creek continues to dominate the league in first place with a record of 8-3-1. Starting in goal at with a 4-0 record, and one of the big stories behind the Stony Creek goaltender or Stony Creek general success is Ryan DeMello. And in goal for Hamilton, posting a 5-3-1 record is Colin Dunn. And we're underway here at the Dave. Hope you like Friday night hockey. Peckham has the puck back for Pereira. And the lead pass up there in the zone for Di Benedetto, who's checked by his man. Cameron tries to push in, and he gives it into the corner. And they try and center it, but that flickering shot goes back into the point area where all Peckham can do is keep it in. DeVoe battles for it low. Cameron tries to center it, but the ice is very slippery. Now he comes in front. Cameron in the slot. Fanned on it, but Peckham with a big shot. Oh, and DeMello snagged that one in the first shot. Goes to Hamilton with some early pressure on the fresh ice. These two teams have split their season series two to two. Stony Creek has 24 goals in the process and Hamilton has 19. Uh, the last game in here was two weeks ago when Stony Creek came in and blanked Hamilton five to nothing. DeMello getting the shutout. He's been a big part of their success as we mentioned earlier. Face off in the Stony Creek zone. Goes back to the point. Pajot gets it out to center and bit of a break here for Stony Creek. They drop in to McParland who makes a step around his man. McParland comes into the slot. But a pass to Kellen Lane did not get through. And here comes Stephen Thorne through center for Hamilton. He throws it over on that side to Levelier. His swing around pass goes through the, the crease area, the slot area, nobody there. They control down low, and that's Carnevale. Looking for somebody back at the point, but nobody was there as it was checked off his stick. And Williams, seeing some action in here in his second game in Hamilton at least, will lead it up to Levelier who had problems with that puck. Andrew Hotham back of the puck, tries to go past Bibich, but he gets it to Pajot. Pajot for Stony Creek brings it out to center. Pajot is stopped, but it's picked up by Hotham, who brings it in over the blue line. Hotham tries to make a play, gets into the slot. Hewlett had a chance, and Dunn will cover up there. As Stony Creek gets their first opportunity of this hockey game. Well, as I understand, Giorgio's got some good tunes lined up for us tonight. We never know what we're going to hear. After a week of planning, there has been some back and forth. There's been some interesting banter on Facebook that you're not privy to. Could be some really cool music here at the Dave tonight. Here comes Josh Soares behind the net, looking for someone to pass to his point shot. A good stick check there by Rinaldi to keep his man from having a play. And DeMello gets the puck, and he leaves it back there for Hotham. Andrew Hotham brings it out to center. 
Long pass to Soares. Soares brings it in over the line, tries to get into the slot area. Rinaldi tries one pass, gets it to Roberto, and he's got a good head of steam to center. Roberto makes one move, makes another move. Roberto trying to get through, but he can't, as he's checked by Chris Campoli, former Islander. Also with Justin Benedetto, who had eight games in the show for the Islanders. Pajo at center now. Makes one move. He's got Soares and Hewlett with him. Hewlett with a shot. Nice save by Dunn. Got the pad on that. And here comes Zanet bringing it out for Hamilton. He comes out to center and dumps it down into the Hamilton zone. It takes a bounce. And there'll be some changes coming at the Hamilton bench. Blanchard leads it up to center and Soares pokes it there. Lison, the tallest player on the team, tries to get it in for Scott Hotham. And he's checked by Williams. They ride in on the boards for Hamilton there in the Hamilton zone. Lison for Stony Creek, trying to get it back to the point. He still has that puck. Aiming for Gagowski in the slot area, but nothing penetrates there. And here comes Justin D. Benedetto. Gets it over on that side to Cameron. Cameron, far side to Ling, who couldn't bury it. Cameron now has it in the corner for Hamilton. They press in the Stony Creek zone and look for coming in the slot. Spinning shot by D. Benedetto goes high. And out of play, and with 16.47 to go in the first period, we have no score. Well, it was nice to have a Friday off at the Dave. This is the last game of 2018 here at the Dave Andrew Chung. Next game being on January 11th, when I believe Dundas is in town. Face off in the Stony Creek zone. Let out. Here's Conkle. He's the league's leading scorer. He'll take it into the corner. Try and make a play there, but Stephen Thorne checks him. Carnavalli coming back to the point. Justin DaCosta fires it at the net, and unimpeded, it goes right into the crest of Dunn, and no rebound. Stony Creek will play tomorrow night against Dundas, uh, and Hamilton's next home game in January will be against Whitby. Uh... Hamilton's next game will actually be a week from tonight in Dundas. So the road ahead is still busy. It's not the end of 2018, but this is the last game we'll see in this building. Tessarolo drops the puck, and Thorne back to the, puck, the Hamilton net with the puck. He's checked hard by the league's leading scorer, Jared Conkle. Levelier fights for the puck there, but Stony Creek comes up with it. Now Conkle has it back in the net. Tries to center it on a backhand, but it goes into the opposite corner where Tacosta fires it low and into the corner for Levelier. Nice little back pass there, and Hamilton will make a move to try and come out of their zone. They do. Carnevale at the blue line. Finally get it out to center. Matt Roberto makes one move, skips it into the corner, and he'll give chase. He's got Carnevale streaking. Tried to get it in front, but couldn't as that pass was deflected. Heisey tried to pass it, hit Levelier almost in the face. Now it deflects off of Levelier and goes into the zone, stopped at the bench. And the Stony Creek player had not left the ice, but referee Pat Myers now talking with Peckham about whether or not there'll be a penalty, and it's more an incidental contact. So no penalty, and we'll just have a stoppage in play. No score early on in the first period here at the Dave. Into the corner it goes, and Bibich has the puck for Stony Creek. Bibich up to McParland. McParland tries to go cross ice, can't. And Zanette intercepts for Hamilton and brings it out to center. Hamilton brings it in over the line. Rinaldi with a shot that flutters wide. Roberto giving chase, but Stony Creek comes up with the puck, and they're able to clear it to center. They have to backtrack a bit. Almost intercepted by Zanette. Now McParland, backhander. And this is Lane bringing it in. Drives a slot shot. Oh, and a nice deflection away out of the danger area by Dunn. Getting the puck out of while Stony Creek was forechecking there. Here comes Ratchuk in over the line. Ratchuk shoots, and it's deflected wide. McParlin back to get it for Stony Creek. He leads it up to the line. Donati had it hacked off his state, and Hamble Hamilton will have to clear the zone and head back in. Ling guarding the far side as Stony Creek tries to organize on the breakout. They do. This is Andrew Hotham for Stony Creek. Leads a long lead pass that goes by everybody and all the way for icing. And we'll have a face-off in the Stony Creek zone. Who knew Marky Mark would go on to the film career after seeing this song with him dancing around in his underwear? Come on, come on. 
Face off one by Cameron, but too cleanly, as Thorne will have to go all the way back to get it. Williams pick up the puck, and DeVoe, now at center, spins around, goes the other way. Try and get it back at the point for Williams. Who leads it over to Thorne? Now back to Williams. They play catch in Hamilton's own zone and will try and launch an attack up ice. But that's intercepted by Blanchard, who gets it to Pajo And Hewlett giving a good chance, but unable to convert there. Stony Creek still controlling the puck. A long shot from the corner tries to catch Dunn napping. That was Blanchard, and he did not. Blanchard has the puck at center, and Ling was cheating a little bit towards the other side of center ice. That goes nowhere. Blanchard tries one nice pass to Pajo. He makes a nice move, gets around his man. Pajo shoots, and a nice save by Dunn. So Stony Creek putting on some good puck pressure here in the Hamilton zone, but not much is happening. No glorious chances yet as we've played just over six minutes in the first period here at the Dave Andrichuk Mountain Arena for Friday night hockey for your Hamilton Steelhawks. Carnavalli takes the draw and wins it. Roberto just leaves it there ever so gently for Ratchuk, who eventually finds Cam Salt and leads it up to Levelier. Is it just me, Giorgio, or does Hamilton look like they've got a little bit of jump, that more jump than they did last week? Giorgio agrees. Lies in over center. Brings it in over the line. The Gungowski was ahead of the play. And we'll have a face-off outside the Hamilton zone. Well, if you're looking behind the bench and you see a new coach, that's exactly what you're seeing. I don't even know his names yet. Sorry? Brett Pope. The pontiff behind the coach, as he's called by his teammates. I didn't even know his name, and I've already created a nickname for him. He'll sit back there anyway. Gingowski with a shot that gets deflected and hits the Zamboni entrance. Sliding pass in front. Dangerously in the crease, but no one there to get it for Stony Creek. And now Hamilton will bring it the other way. This is Levelier. High pass for Carnivale. Carnivale has it deflected. Keeps it in the zone. He'll go back of the net to get it. Pass it back there for Levelier. Centering pass, but Stony Creek covered well. Look out. This is Levelier again, getting it over to Carnivale. Carnivale. Trying to get it into the slot to Levelier. Levelier controlling. Tries to go into the slot area. The assault back to Ling. Ling centered to Levelier. Oh, and he just missed the open net. Great puck movement by Hamilton. And they control it still behind the net. But Stony Creek has two men on Levelier, and they are tired. But Hamilton had him hemmed in a bit. And Carnivale just couldn't get the puck. And Stony Creek comes up with it. Cousins will spin around. Oddly enough, Darren Cousins knows my cousins. They teach together. Here comes Williams with a puck for Hamilton. Lead pass for Roberto. Roberto through center for Hamilton. Has it knocked off his stick. Kept in by Williams. No, it was not. Tessarolo with a bit of a late whistle there. And to be honest, it did look like it slightly came over the line there, but uh, the whistle wasn't as quick as the eye. Sound doesn't move as fast as light. Unless you're Giorgio, and you've got your finger on that button, then sound does move faster than light. So basically the hierarchy, in case you're wondering, sound, light, and then Giorgio. Into the slot area. And Stony Creek keeps it in there. Fergus has a man in front, has it behind the net, tries to center it, but Peckham just tipped that away. Lison. Goes into the slot, Cockle, one save by Dunn. Skips over the stick, and Hamilton will clear to the line and out. Roberto tried a backhand pass. It goes the other way. Peckham got knocked over into the slot, intercepted. Oh, a really nice play by Williams there to break that up as Peckham was out of the play. Here comes Roberto in over the line. Thorne into the slot, and that stopped by DeMello. Roberto back at the point. He pinches in, gets it through the slot area. But no further action coming from there. Fergus with a long lead pass. It's a good one. Conkle with a shot and an even better save by Dunn. Stony Keek now going the other way and keeping the pressure on Hamilton. But here comes DeVoe. And DeVoe's got Ling up there. Potential long lead pass. This is the three on two for Hamilton if they can afford it. Here he comes into DeBetto. Shot deflected high. And out of play. 11 minutes to go in the first period. No score. No penalties thus far either. 
and had to use the public address system. Face off in the Stony Creek zone. It'll go back where Campoli picks it up, but he's checked by Benedetto. two former Islanders wrestling for the puck. My friend Mike Devitt would enjoy that. Campoli for Stony Creek gives it to Lane. Penetrated the zone is Donati. Donati straddles the line, gets it to McParlin. McParlin puts it low for Lane. Back to the point to Blanchard. It's intercepted, and Hamilton might get a bit of a break here. D. Benedetto finds Ling, but Blanchard comes back and gets there for Stony Creek. Puck is loose. D. Benedetto brings it in over the line. D. Benedetto takes it into the corner, and he's hit. Has his stick knocked away by Blanchard. And D. Benedetto will go back to the bench to get a fresh piece of lumber. Levelier spins. Gets it over on that side to Ling. Ling brings it in over the line. Finds a streaking Levelier. Levelier into the slot. Oh, and Ling just chopped it high. Ling has it behind the net now for Hamilton. They work it in there. Good puck possession here. He'll throw it back in the net, but that's intercepted by Lane, and he'll dump it to center. They're tired. They might make a change. And Salt will have it for Hamilton, and he'll regroup. Levelier finds Salt again, calling for it. Salt shooting. Nice save by DeMello. Peckham at the line. Has it deflected and out of play. Ah, there's Layla. You played this at the end of the game. And with a piano playing in a nice empty rink, it had a nice sound. With that piano playing, it really, it sounded good. It was, not, well, no. It takes a little more to have me on my knees. Like when I genuflect, I am Catholic. Uh, <laughs> not practicing by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Karna Valley plays it back of the net for Hamilton. Ratchuk leads it up there. There's Levelier giving it over for Hamilton coming in with Karna Valley, but they Play around with the puck there. It is back and forth, and somehow Hamilton comes up with it. Levelier centers it deflected wide. Levelier will come up with it again, back to the point. But Peckham has to double back for Hamilton. He'll give it over to Ratchuk. Ratchuk spins, and a nice move to evade the eluding attacker there, who was Pajo in over the line, into the slot, and it's just deflected. Hamilton mounting some good attacks the other way, but not much. Hewlett has it now for Stony Creek. He's got Pajot with him. Into the slot, just deflects it wide. Back of the net, Hewlett spinning, trying to find a man in front. He does, shoots. What a save by Dunn. Same guy gets the shot. No, it's going to be Cousins deflected wide. Soares there with a great opportunity for Stony Creek, and he couldn't bury it. Out of the zone it goes, and Roberto giving chase. He pokes it to the blue line, but that's about it, and Hamilton will go for a change. Lead pass gets poked away and poked away twice, but way offside was Josh Soares, who had that golden opportunity for Stony Creek in front of the net. And wow, did Dunn robbed him. 8.07 to go, first period. No score. And the faceoff's going to be on the other side because that's where the offside occurred, Giorgio. That's how they do it. It's, it's more of an east-west kind of game for the, for the linesman. <clears throat> Hotham puts it into the slot area. Lane tries it again. It's deflected to the line, but stays in. Lane will play it again, and look out. That time it came out of the zone. I don't see a linesman with his arm up, though. Eh, it doesn't matter. Hamilton has the puck. Hotham gets a nice bounce. He's got Lane with him. Hotham. Drops it. Gingowski shooting. Nice save by Dunn. Puck is loose. Off to the side. Intercepted by Hamilton. They scrum away at it, and Zanette comes up with the puck for Hamilton. He'll throw it back in the net for Williams, and Williams will regroup. One nice pass to Zanette out of the zone. They come across center strong. This is Zanette dropping to Roberto. Into DeVoe. Deflected. Oh, right into the glove of DeMello, and he robbed Zanette at short range. Nice breakout play there. A little bit of a gamble by Zanette. And they came in over the line. Dropped a nice pass to DeVoe, who was aiming for a deflection, and right into the glove of DeMello. 
DeMello posting a league best 1.75 goals against average. That is unheard of. Even through a small sample size of four games in this league, everybody else is over four. Lots of scoring, but none thus far in this game. Hamilton comes out of their own zone. DeVoe to Di Benedetto, who's way over the line, and that will be offside. I like that you've got Holy Diver queued up past the uh, the wind part. You need that. The intro is a little too long. You know, I listened to that song one night and was talking about Ronnie James Devo with my neighbor, and overnight, Ronnie James Devo passed away. Great singer, only three apples high. Weird things like that happen. Anyway, Di Benedetto into the corner. Salt centering it right in front. Di Benedetto had it risked right off his stick. It stays in, though. Cameron all, almost able to keep it in, and this is Rob Heisey. He's got Conkle with him into the slot. Oh, he tried a nice move, but just sailed wide. Now Di Benedetto has it for Hamilton. Brings it in over center. He's got Cameron with him. And he dropped it, and it's intercepted there by Heisey, who brings it in over the line. He's got Fergus with him. Collision with Peckham. Heisey drops it back. Shot by McParland whistles wide. And Hamilton Levelier will make one move to the back end and spin out of the zone. He's got a head of steam over the line, but will drop it to Salt. Salt trying to sneak in. Gives it to Carnavalli. Carnavalli on the back end just trickles it wide. And that play looked like it was going to be more than it ended up being. Peckham takes an angle as opposed to a play, and that ended up working fine for Hamilton. But that's Williams with a backhander to himself. Centers it. Oh, he tried to catch DeMello napping, and he almost did. DeMello is down, stopping the pass in front. And he tried, Williams tried to go uh, over the shoulder there and bank it in. Cousins brings it in, and that is all offside for Stony Creek. Face off outside the Hamilton zone. Roberto has it. Playing it back in for Thorne. Thorne controls the puck. Behind his own zone. Will now lead it up. Zanette. Hewlett has the puck. Looking for someone to source. Great save by Dunn. He did the splits again. That's Port Robinson's own Colin Dunn going coast to coast, straddling the canal and making a great save. Zanette controlling the puck for Hamilton. Stops it at the half boards. Roberto trying to get at it. He can and Hotham picks it up for Stony Creek. He'll lead it up to Bibic. Bibic with a long pass up to Pajo. Nathan Pajo drops it to Hewlett. Hewlett brings it in over the line. Poked away and Rinaldi goes the other way for Hamilton. His first pass is to Roberto. Mike Roberto brings it in over the line. Tries to go into the corner. He does. Zanette picks it up. Centers it. Puck is loose. But DeMello just got a piece of that. And nicely knocked down by Rinaldi. Although it bounced favorably eventually to Paggio. Who drops it to Soares. Soares shooting off the mask of Dunn. And into the glove. The rare mask to glove save. Have you noticed that paint job that Ross Taylor did on his mask? Just brightened it up. It was that, uh, that ugly white stuff there. Oh, no, it went down his shirt. And linesman Nick Tessarolo reaches in there. Normally a move not performed until you have a phone number, at least. But, um, sorry, that's Chris Tessarolo. He comes up with that puck, and that puck has been inside uh, Dunn's shirt, it's jersey. Conkle centering it, nice poke away there, and Ling picks it up for Hamilton. He goes hard over the blue line. Ling into the slot shot. Oh, a whistler by Cameron goes high and wide. Stopped at the line, Campoli. He's faced by two men. Di Benedetto gets it, and he's up there with Cameron. 
He fires it back behind the net. Ling gets it in the slot to Cameron. Poked off his stick. By Heisey, but then eventually picked up by Ratchuk. Here comes Ling. Over on the other side to Ratchuk. Ratchuk spinning. Gets it to Cameron. Cameron puts it behind the net and Campoli will take over for Stony Creek. 3.18 to go first period, no score. They play it off the boards. Look out. Williams, nice save by DeMello. Campoli has the puck. Picks it up for Stony Creek and tries to go to center. He does. Williams hacks at that, but it's eventually picked up by Cam Fergus. Drop to Heisey. Heisey over on the far side to Blanchard, and that does not get through as it was stopped by Ling. DaCosta, will, the lone man back for Stony Creek, had to stop a cre streaking Cam Salt. And he weaves his way into his own corner and eventually gets it up to Lane. Lane for Stony Creek will double back in his own zone. Blanchard, the captain of Stony Creek, Finds DaCosta. Thorne picks it up. Salt now has it for Hamilton. Drops to Levelier into the slot to Carnivale. Back through the slot area. Oh, and just hacked high. As Levelier had to whack it twice. Levelier has it, tries to center it. It's deflected there by Lane. Behind the net, they battle for it. It is Lane that comes up with it, and he gets it to Cousins. Cousins will cut in front of his own net, and it worked. Here comes McParlin. McParland for Stony Creek, trying a backhander, does get it in front to Cousins, over on this side, and they pass it over a little too much. Now in the slot to Soares. <clears throat> Found there by Donati. Tyler Donati, stopped by Carnivale, who tried a quick pass to Levelier that almost got through but didn't. Levelier picks up the puck, comes in, shoots, great save by DeMello. Levelier's got a good head of steam, and he had another good chance there and just couldn't bury it. Dunn comes out of the net to play it to Zanet. And it's picked up by Roberto, who will charge out of the Hamilton zone. This is Roberto, big city Roberto over the line. Into Rinaldi. Hamilton putting pressure. That is Zanet at the point. Shot deflected wide, goes into the corner. Here's Roberto, leaving it back of the net. They hack it in front, but Stony Creek comes up with the puck. And this is Soares leading it to center. Hewlett brings it in over the line. Hewlett to Pajo, shooting, just goes wide. Loose puck, but Soares couldn't bury it, and Hamilton comes up with the puck. Last minute of play in the first period. Zanette has the puck for Hamilton. Ratchuk playing with it behind the Hamilton net. Hamilton trying to mount an attack before this period is over. A long lead pass goes right in on DeMello, so no icing. Blanchard picks up the puck. Gangowski has it for Stony Creek and will hack it in for Ling. Peckham loses the puck in the corner. Tries to get it out. It's stopped by Fergus. 24 seconds left. Shot. Big save by Dunn. He's been good with those pads, and Ling will try and get it out. Heisey has another chance. He had that last shot. Fergus in the slot. They score! Heisey from Fergus and Blanchard. With 9.8 seconds, Stony Creek gets on the board first. Some people thinking it was offside. Stony Creek goal scored by number 84, Rob Heisey. Assist by number 15, Cam Fergus. And number 17, Sean Blanchard. Time of the goal, 19 minutes and 50 seconds. Fan. So a little, little more dancing stuff here. But that'll be the end of the period. And Stony Creek will take a lead into the intermission. At, after a fairly even play, Hamilton arguing that that was offside and a little bit of concern, but there is a hooking penalty coming up to Hamilton or Stony Creek. That will start the third or the second period. 
Fans, make sure you visit the Hawk's Nest in the community room located on the upper level behind the benches where you can pick up a nice cold beer. And Hamilton will get a chance to put their 13% power play, 13.3% power play on the line here against Stony Creek's 95 killing percentage. <clears throat> so good chance for Hamilton at the end at the start of the second period to get, get back that goal they gave up at the end of the first. Stony Creek penalty to number 22, Igor Gangowski. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 20 minutes. Cameron brings it in over the line and gives it to Ling. Ling puts it in the corner and Blanchard plays it in the corner. Pajot picks up the puck and lead pass for Heisey. Heisey brings it in over the line. Tries a move, goes wide on Dunn, goes around the net, taken down by Ratchuk. No arm comes up. D. Benedetto over to Ling. Ling shoots. Oh, fires it. Puck almost came back in front. That was a hot shot. Quite the bounce on it. Ratchuk unable to keep it in, and Hamilton will have to clear the zone. Ratchuk tries to clear it over on that side to DeVoe. DeVoe spins around, brings it through center, and now. Plays it into the corner. A minute to go in the power play. They jostle for position there as DeVoe gets it back to the point to Ratchuk. Ratchuk straddles the line, puts one on goal, puck comes loose, and DeMello bounced that one aside. Di Benedetto plays it in front, puck is loose, and oh, a big collision there by Ling taking down Campoli. But Stony Creek able to clear the puck, and that goes all the way down the ice with 38 seconds to go in the Hamilton power play. Far side pass for Williams. Williams flips it through, and Levelier tried to get it, but it's intercepted by Hotham. And Levelier is offside with 24 seconds to go on the power play. Into the corner. And back to get it was Williams. 13 seconds to go on the power play over the line. Stopped. Conkle has it. A two on one for Stony Creek, short handed. Ferguson Conkle. Conkle shoots. Nice glove save by Dunn, who now tries to catch Stony Creek sleeping. And they come back to the ice, and Gangowski out, out of the box as Peckham winds it in. Levelier has it down low, throws it back for Salt. Salt back to Levelier to the point. To Williams, shot, right, nice save by DeMello. Big hit by Williams on his man as he knocked Conkle down in the Stony Creek zone. Fergus has it now for Stony Creek. Stopped by Peckham, go cross ice, and a nice save by Dunn on a hot shot by Conkle who made it all the way up into a good shooting position and let that one-timer go. So Hamilton unable to score on that power play. The first power play of the game. A late penalty taken by Gangowski for hooking at the end of that first period. 17.33 to go, second period. Oh, one nothing in favor of the visiting Stony Creek Generals who have a face-off inside the Hamilton zone now. It's Lane going to take that draw against the net. They hack away for it, the scrum, and then it's eventually Hamilton that comes up with the puck. Roberto finds Rinaldi. Rinaldi with a lead pass to Zanette. And now McParlin. Brings it in over the line. McParland stops, hacks away at it. Roberto's got a bit of a step on his man, and he'll go to the outside. Zanette in the slot to Rinaldi. Rinaldi shoots, and that just goes high. The puck almost bounces in front to him again, but it's Stony Creek that comes away with the puck. This is Donati in over the line. Donati stops, waits for his mates to get onside, gets them. He finds DaCosta. DaCosta tries to center it. They hack away at it, and Dunn will cover it up in the breadbasket region. And they try to find something to do. Sixteen fifty-three to go, second period. One nothing, Stony Creek. Which one is this? No rest for the wicked. Campoli fires a shot wide into the slot. They score. Big rebound goes right on the stick of Hewlett. 
And it's 2-0. Stony Creek is done. Was out of position. Stony Creek goal scored by number nine, Chris Hewlett. Assist by number 41, Chris Campoli. Time of the goal, 1646. Into the slot now, Hamilton down 2 nothing, And you gotta feel they gotta get the next goal because this is looking like a repeat of two weeks ago. But DeMello is playing very well in that Stony Creek goal. Hamilton, I'd have to say, has more jump than they did in that game two weeks ago and is putting more pressure on Stony Creek. Last year, they ended up splitting the season series between the two teams, with Stony Creek getting 35 goals in six games and Hamilton getting 29. Both won two of three games at home. So the series is 2-2 this year, head-to-head. -head. Into the slot, and that just goes over Campoli's stick as Stony Creek was pressing again. DeVoe brings it out over center. DeVoe plays it into the corner. Into the slot to Ratchuk. Ratchuk shoots, just goes wide. One of the better chances for Hamilton thus far in the game. Cameron plays it. The puck in the corner goes behind the net. Backhander in front doesn't go in. It'll have to go back in the corner for Cameron. Cameron trying to find D. Benedetto who goes charging in there. But the puck ends up behind the Stony Creek net. And it'll be Hewlett who has the only goal here in the second period. Leading it out to Ratchuk who takes over for Hamilton. The long change of factor here in the second period. Ratchuk starting at the blue line. Here's Salt, brings it in over the line. Intercepted, this is Ratchuk into the slot. Puck is loose. They jam away at it, but Stony Creek plays it into the corner and they're able to clear it out of danger's way. Hotham over the line, fires it back behind the net. Gungalski plays it off the corner and winds it around the board. Salt has the puck, a nice lead pass for Carnevale. He'll find Ling. Carnevale and Ling in there in front, centered, and Bivich lifted the stick of Carnevale as he went streaking towards the net. And Stony Creek brings it back to center. Andrew Hotham comes through the logo, and that time has Gangowski offside. So he said Brad Pope is the name of the coach? Or Brent. The Pontiff, Brent Pope. The new coach of the Hamilton Steelhawks this season. Heisey, who has the first goal in this game for Stony Creek, will be facing off just outside the Hamilton zone with Paul Zanette. One by Stony Creek, and Hotham has the puck, and he takes back into his own zone. Heisey at the blue line. Bibich with the puck for Stony Creek and a lead pass to Hotham. Hotham goes cross ice and tries to find a streaking Fergus. It's turned over, and Rinaldi with a step. Rinaldi in, shoots, nice save by DeMello. Zanette fires it back behind. Roberto taken off the puck by uh, Bibich rather handily. Zanette tries to keep the puck in, but Heisey will bring it out to center for Stony Creek. Brings it in over the line and tries to find a man in the slot area, but it's intercepted by Rinaldi. They have it again into the slot, tipped away from Fergus. To the point it goes where Cousins gets it down low. Heisey trying to bring it in front. Deflected goes back of the net for Fergus. Fergus for Stony Creek now. Batting it back in and Zanette takes over. This line a little tired. Zanette brings it in cleanly. It's intercepted by Cousins, and Heisey cherry-picking for Stony Creek or calls the puck. He's got Hotham streaking to the net. Into the slot for Conkle, deflected high over the net and out of play. Ends up landing on the top of the net. If you try and do that five times, you'd never be able to do it. Five, 10, 15 times. Back to the point it goes. They spin around. DaCosta centers it, deflected in front. Cameron, Di Benedetto has the puck. Di Benedetto shoots, scores! Di Benedetto finally gets Hamilton on the board. 
And Hamilton's back in it. It's a 2-1 hockey game for Stony Creek. Back in front again, Di Benetto almost scored again. Net is off, but it's penalty coming up to Stony Creek for slashing. Steel Hawks goal. Scored by number 96, Justin Di Benedetto. Assist by number 89, Brian Cameron, and number 44, Mike Ratchuk. Time of the goal, 13-33. Stony Creek penalty to number 44, Darren Cousins. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 13-13. So Hamilton will go right to the power play after getting on the board. And we've got a bit of a different outlook on this hockey game now. As they're finally able to beat DeMello after being shut out for four consecutive periods. Levelier picks up the puck for Hamilton. Ratchuk makes one move. Gets out of the zone. Gets it to Levelier who gets it in stride. Levelier works it down into the corner. He was checked by Pajot, but he'll fire it around the boards to Ling. Ling throws it cross ice to Ratchuk. Over on this side to Carnivale. Carnivale over to Ratchuk. Tries to center it. Levelier now has it. Gets it down low. Hamilton really working the puck around there, but overworked it. As a hot bounce came out of the zone, there's a minute to go on the power play. Ling to center. Ratchuk just missed it. And Ling will start again. Out for Hamilton. Brings it to center and over on the backhand to Roberto Car Carnivale. We'll put it deep for Roberto, so that's pucks deep there. But Campoli hacks away at it. Roberto's stick goes flying, and Stony Creek's Blanchard ends up firing the puck down the ice. 37 seconds to go on the power play. Dunn will start this one. Dunn leaves it there for Williams. Williams back of the net and out of the Hamilton zone with the puck. Williams skating to center for Hamilton. Finds it with Rinaldi. Rinaldi makes one move, almost got all the way in, and DeMello will pick that up easily as it got away from him. 2-1 the score, Stony Creek, 11.39 to go, second period. Face off in the zone, DeMello gets it. Back of the net and Bibic hacks away at it in the Zamboni area. And that puck gets cleared and that'll do it. For the Hamilton power play who have now gone Carl Ofs, 0 4 2 now. Bibich gets the puck, fires it down the ice. Penalty not over. Darren Cousins comes streaking out of the box and goes straight to the bench as he tripped Di Benedetto. He might have saved a goal on that play, but it goes down the ice. It's deflected, icing is waved off. As they're saying, Roberto got a slice of that one before it went all the way down. Long lead pass. Fergus said he touched it on his side of center, or on the other side of center, I should say. But icing has already been called and it's gonna go all the way back. And all that Fergus wants is a face off at center and he's not gonna get that. Hey. Cameron taking the draw, and that is one by lane. Number four for Stony Creek there, and Stony Creek is able to get it out of the zone as Bibich leads it up there. Here comes Thorne, bursting through center. He finds Steve Benedetto, pass into the slot. Defoe fires one, big rebound, puck is loose, and knocked down was Cameron, and that puck goes wide. Donati has the puck for Stony Creek, brings it in over the line, moves into the slot. 
And that's taken away by Di Benedetto. Goes back behind the net. Stefan Thorne will try and bring it back out, but that's taken away by Lane, and they battle away for it in the corner. Comes through center, will go all the way down the ice, and this is icing. We're almost halfway through the game, and Stony Creek leading two to nothing. Steve Cassidy joining us up in the booth. How you doing? Are you growing the beard back for the winter, or what do you think? <laughs> yeah, you know, you never get too cold. But he looks warm in that Canada Goose jacket. Di Benedetto plays it up to center, and DeVoe gives chase, but Cousins is going to get there first. And DeVoe takes a wide circle in. So that was Cameron having to be careful about bringing it in, but McParlin dances through center. Now it brings it in over the line. Parlin plays it in the corner. He's taken off the puck. Some people calling for a penalty. It's not going to come. DeVoe with a nice lead pass to ben Di Benedetto. Another nice move. Di Benedetto with a shot, but DeMello makes the save. And he had to get that one away quick because DeCosta was on him. And nothing worse comes out of it other than another face-off in the Stony Creek end. How about I check the out-of-town scores? I don't know if those are working. Out of town scores from Dundas. Whitby leading six to three in the second period. Into the slot, Soares fires a shot that goes high and wide. Back into the slot area. Hewlett leaves it there. It's deflected. Puck is loose in front. Really nice move by Ratchuk to get that puck out. Carnevale intercepts. He's looking for Levelier. Levelier might have a step here. Levelier going in. Oh, and a nice save by DeMello. Hamilton gets a nice breakout play there using the boards, and Levelier with a good head of steam got around the defense but had to shoot as he was going top speed towards the Stony Creek goal. 9.09 .09 to go in the second period. 2-1 in favor of Stony Creek. Carnevale gets it back to the point. Peckham shot deflected, and that goes off the shoulder of DeMello. That had the potential of being dangerous. Almost did. Oh, a nice move by Levelier. He took the puck off of Campoli, and he stopped that pass out. Levelier just frantically chasing after that puck. Really good doggedly going after the puck there. Carnevale in the slot tried to find Levelier down low, but Stony Creek comes up with the puck. Here comes Conkle, the league's leading scorer over the line. Drop pass. This is Fergus. Deflected wide as Dunn did get a pad on that. Ling stops it. It's intercepted by Conkle, but then taken back by Carnevale. And then Fergus circus it's over to Heisey. Heisey brings it in over the line, spins, turns. Conkle shoots, deflected wide. Another bouncing puck comes in front. Boy, those boards behind the net are lively tonight. I don't know if it's the temperature in here or the temperature outside or the consistency of the rubber of the puck. But they are bouncing in front, and that is how Stony Creek got their go-ahead goal in this game. Off a of Campoli shot that bounced out to Heisey, who fired it into an open yet as Dunn was out of position. Roberto cheating in off the draw. They'll redo the drop. And it's Stony Creek that wins it and keeps it in on the line. But that's about all they do at this point. Soares throws it back of the net for Hotham, and Roberto comes up with the puck. He brings it in over center. Roberto takes it in the corner and fires a shot wide. Williams keeps the puck in, tries to go down low. He does. Rinaldi gets it back to Williams. Williams shoots, deflected wide. Zanette will pick up the puck. Zanette tries to get it in the slot. Can't. Lysen hacking away at it. Rinaldi hacking at it. They all hack at it. And it comes out of the zone eventually. It's at center where Hamilton controls. Rinaldi couldn't get the puck. And this is Hotham with a long pass for Gungowski that gets by him. Takes a big hit in the corner to make the play. That was Stefan Thorne. And now it's Zanette bringing the puck for Hamilton over center. Zanette. Rinaldi tried to sneak in back door. Dunn is screaming. We don't know about what. The net looks like it's on. Maybe it was too many men. I'm not sure. Or maybe there was another man cheating. If it was Heisey out there, you can bet he was almost ahead of the play. And here's McParland over the line. 
That's intercepted by Roberto and a nice lead pass and not good enough for Cameron and it's just going to go far enough for icing. So I'm not sure what Dunn was hacking away about down there, but he was making a lot of noise and slamming that goal stick, but seems much quieter now. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe nobody will know. 7.05 to go second period. 2-1 in favor of Stony Creek. Hamilton had two power plays in this game, but have yet to be shorthanded. And Stony Creek got a chance to increase their penalty killing, which is 95%. McParlin tries to go deep. He does. Finds Lane in there, battles in the corner with Thorne. And a good job by Williams to take his man off the puck, and that puck eventually goes to center. Roberto, one nice pass to Cameron, and this is a two-on-one if they can work it. Cameron shoots, scores! Cameron ties the game for Hamilton! Cameron from Roberto and Williams at 6.43 in the second. Steel Hawks goal, scored by number 89, Brian Cameron. Assist by number 10, Mike Big City Roberto. And assist by number 90, Jamie Williams. Time of the goal, 6.43. Puck goes through center, this is Donati now. And we got a tie hockey game here in Hamilton. Don't go anywhere. That goes for you, Stephen Cassidy. Blanchard, back at the point. Ever since you've come up here, this game has changed. Into the corner they go. You're stuck up here now. Blanchard, back at the point. Fires it, deflected. Oh, and what a nice second effort by Dunn, who saw the fluttering puck come off his pad and no further damage. He's been good with that pad tonight, I'll tell you, Giorgio. So Hamilton gets down 2-0 in this one. Has a great second period to come back and tie it. Both on low shots to the far side of DeMello. Back of the net it goes. This is Williams. Williams with a lead pass. Up to level, yeah. Into the corner, into the slot, Level Yeh trying to get the puck. But it's eventually taken away by Stony Creek. And they clear the zone as Hewlett with a long lead pass to Pajo, intercepted by Williams. Williams. Overskated the puck is Level Yeh. Stony Creek gets the puck out of the zone and Pajo way ahead. Good hit behind the play. Soares brings it in over the line. Blanchard fires his shot wide. And Hamilton, oh, and they collide with each other behind the net. Look out, going the other way is Levelier, trying to find the back in. It gets deflected at the line. Blanchard and Soares collided with each other behind the Hamilton net. And a small case of fusion was born out of the collision. Over the line it comes, hard shot. And over in the, we got a fight over on the far side as it looks like Peckham was being hacked by Lysen. Referee has his arm up. I don't know if anything's gonna come of Peckham. <laughs> oh, and Lysen now giving him the chicken wing as Peckham does that. And now showboating. Peckham didn't, didn't see him throw any punches there. But Lysen is gone for the game. And he's still going, and now Peckham. All of this coming with 4.46 to go in the second period. And I don't know if Peckham's going to the dressing room or what, but there'll be a long conversation with referee Pat Myers here. Exciting stuff going on at both ends. 
as Zanette had a great chance at the opposite end. Peckham yapping with the Stony Creek players, exchanging some old German words. Lizen now doing the chicken at the bottom of the entranceway. And I got to tell you, if you're not doing anything on your Friday, start the weekend out right and come down here. So Peckham still on the Hamilton bench. Lizen has been sent off. Already got his equipment off, the upper half anyway. A discussion going on with the penalty keeper. <laughs> Zanette playing catch with DeMello. And it's getting a lot more interesting. Ling starting to yell now. Crisis on the box and crisis at the benches. And yeah, we've seen all that before. But it's a good night here at the Dave. Pretty standard fare between these two teams as the Battle of Red Hill heats up. Heisey and Ling exchanging pleasantries. Myers discussing it with Blanchard and Roberto. <laughs> and Ling and Heisey continue to chat. Referees discussing. And there will be two minutes going up to Stony Creek. I'm not sure exactly what the call is, and I don't care if I get it wrong. But I don't know what's going on, man. Lies in and a seed gesture. OK, this is fun one to call. Stony Creek penalty to number 94, Eric Lison. Two minutes for roughing. A 10-minute game misconduct for leaving the player bench and a 10-minute game misconduct for obscene gestures. Time at 4.46 of the second period. So Hamilton gets a power play out of all of that. Roberto brings the puck over the line. And boy, does this game ever have a lot of flavor to it. Quite different from two Fridays ago, wouldn't you say, Giorgio? Back to the point it goes for Ling. Hamilton on the power play here. Ratchuk over to Ling. Ling back to Ratchuk, deflected. Shot by Rinaldi goes high and wide. Picked up by Ling to Ratchuk into the slot. Zanette finds Ling, back to Zanette at the point. Zanette for Hamilton finds Rinaldi down low. They work it around the outside and Zanette intercept, wisely read by Fergus there, who ended the Hamilton pressure by jumping up on a well-telegraphed pass. But look out, this is Paul Zanette bringing the puck over the line for Hamilton, drops it to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto shoots, it's deflected, and goes out of play with 35 seconds left in the Hamilton power play. How do you like the game up here, Steve? <laughs> yeah, but the real treat is watching how Giorgio's right on top of the plays. <laughs> That's where you have the Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. Yeah, oh, well, then that's probably the best one you didn't get. <laughs> Play comes out, nice lead pass for Pajot. Pajot shoots, but that just goes wide. Stony Creek putting on the pressure. Peckham back on the ice now after Lison left the bench. Cameron playing it in there, 16 seconds to go in the power play. Peckham 
Sneaking in, loads up, goes cross eyes. A really nice pass for D. Benedetto. And now it's played back to the point for Cameron. Cameron brings it in. Shot, deflected, goes wide, bounces back, centering Beckham going to the front of the net. Cameron trying to center it, does Beckham, shoots, oh! And that was DeVoe who just missed. Kept in by Peckham and Hamilton keeps the pressure on into the slot. Cameron steps in, he scores! Cameron scores! And Hamilton takes a 3-2 lead. His second of the game. What a second period this is turning out to be. Steel Hawks goal scored by number 89, Brian Cameron. Assist by number 34, Andre DeVoe, and number 24, Theo Peckham. Time of the goal, 2.34. Stony Creek putting the pressure back on Hamilton. Well, Cassidy, you're stuck up here now. <laughs> Kongowski throws it back behind the net. Carnevale leads it out. It gets to the line, not out. Kept in by Campoli. Back of the net for Tyler Donati. Donati tries to center. It goes to one side. Now comes to this side. Gets it into the slot. Campoli fires it. Nice save. Big rebound. They score. Stony Creek ties it. Stony Creek goal scored by number four, Kellen Lane. Assist by number 41, Chris Campoli. Time of the goal, 141. So we got a tie hockey game here in Hamilton. Heisey tries to get it to the blue line. That's Conkle bringing it out to the line. Now Conkle brings it in again. Tries another move. Conkle deked himself off the puck. Ratchuk picks up the puck for Hamilton. Comes out of the zone, makes one nice move. Makes a second nice move. Ratchuk still with the puck, fires it. Oh, and a nice save by DeMello as it floats into the corner. Roberto giving chase. Sony Creek will come out with it. Last minute of play in the second period. Bibich over the line, shoots. Big rebound, save goes wide of Dunn. Things getting really chippy out there. The waters, they're rocking. But this is the net, leading it up to Rinaldi who has it just hacked off his stick. Big hack by Conkle. Rinaldi has it poked off his stick again, but Hamilton still pressures forward. Things settle down now as Stony Creek get the puck behind their net. And the lead pass comes up to Cam Fergus. Fergus in over the line. Fergus shoots. Just missed the net. Another wild bounce. Comes to the other side. Goes back of the net and Pajot gives chase. 24 seconds to go in a wild second period. Lead pass to Cousins. Blanks through. 18 seconds to go, and this is Cameron picking up. He's got two in this period. Cameron into the slot. Oh, and Deep Benedetto couldn't finish it off. DeVoe tries to give it, but Heisey will give it another chance the other way. This is Stony Creek coming in. A drop pass doesn't work. Intercepted by DeVoe. Deep Benedetto streaking. Two seconds left. Deep Benedetto stopped, but the buzzer goes. And a really nice save by DeMello on Deep Benedetto at the end of that period. I don't know if that would have counted, but it was a close one. Fans, make sure you visit the Hawks Nest in the community room located on the upper level behind the benches where you can pick up a nice cold beer. Third period coming up. Wild one.
Stony Creek wins the draw to start the third period here, and stay tuned. We got a good one at the Dave tonight. Zinette brings it out over center. Zinette over the blue line, stopped, and he'll fire it deep. Pucks deep to Roberto, intercepted by Blanchard. Now intercepted by Hewlett, who brings it out to center. Soares misses it. Ratchuk plays it to center where Campoli makes one spin in a second and will get it back to Blanchard. Long pass for Hewlett, who opened the scoring in this second period before things really got wild. A five-goal second period. Ratchuk picks up the puck for Hamilton. A nice lead pass for Rinaldi. Lead pass, this is DaCosta bringing it in for Stony Creek. A high whistling shot. Another one that goes up near the chin area of Dunn. Chin, bread basket, and pads. That's where he's been tonight. He's adjusting again. Did that drop out down his shirt again? And Tessarolo, the first linesman over there to, to cop a feel. <laughs> that is the second time that's happened in this game. And maybe the second time I've seen that happen ever. It's getting a little dancey over there. Little Clapton? I saw his house. It was across the bay when I was in Antigua. His, the most famous re resident of Antigua. It might be a quick cricket player for all I know. But it's more than likely Eric Clapton. Have you watched that documentary? It's a good one, Giorgio. Heisey gets it back to the point for Stony Creek. Cousins lets one go, but that gets deflected into the corner. DeVoe has the puck for Hamilton. They come across three strong. DeVoe's got Ren Cameron with him and Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto to Cameron, deflected, they score! Cousins puts it in his own net and Hamilton takes a 4-3 lead. Wow. Steelhawks goal, scored by number 96, Justin D. Benedetto. Assist by number 34, Andre DeVoe. And number 89, Brian Cameron, time of the goal, 18-34 of the third period. So Hamilton takes the lead on a three-on-two that just got deflected into their own net. Carnivale with a nice pass to Levelier. He's been skating hard all night, due to be rewarded. Levelier tries to center it, but it's intercepted nicely by Hotham, who gives a nice lead pass to Fergus. Fergus has been good at knocking pucks away tonight, too. Conkle leaves it to Heisey. Heisey gets in the slot. Heisey deflected. Puck is loose in front, and they spin on it multiple times before Ratchuk gets it to Salt. Salt has it hacked, and it goes into the corner. They center it back to the point. Ratchuk makes one turn, spins, goes to the slot, but it's Stony Creek that intercepts the puck and gets it down, and Theo Peckham has it. Lead pass for Levelier just missed. And DeMello, who's watched four go by him tonight and has a lead best 1.75 goals against average, has it in the net. Stony Creek controlling in their own zone. Hamilton taking the lead in the third period in what's been a wild one. Here comes Lane. Slot pass. Oh, and how did he miss that? Great chance for Donati. And he just pushed it wide. Look out, Zanette's coming the other way for Hamilton. Zanette gets into the slot. Zanette, cross ice pass. And Ling had his stick checked and couldn't get a shot away. Poke pass goes all the way back into the Hamilton zone. Quite the speed and tempo to this one, Giorgio. If this game was a song, what would you call it? I'll let you get back to me on that. Crazy train indeed, good choice. Excellent, going full Randy Rhodes. And Williams on the road into the zone for the Stony Creek zone. The Battle of Red Hill, a gem tonight thus far. Hotham, back to Campoli, who turns it around. Waits for Stony Creek to get out 
organized both teams making changes. Stony Creek now. McParlin bringing it in over the line. McParlin gets hacked away in the corner by Stephen Thorne, who does a nice job of getting that puck off his stick. Thorne will try it again, but it'll go back behind the net to DeVoe. DeVoe will make another turn and spin it around to D. Benedetto. D. Benedetto with a long pass to Roberto. Roberto plays it in deep for Cameron. Puck takes a wild bounce. Back in front. Oh, and DeMello made a great save. And gloved ahead is the call from referee Pat Myers. So that puck will come outside. Soares has the puck for Stony Creek, and he get, they come out of their own zone with it. To Costa with a long pass to Soares. A nice one to McParlin. It's kind of bouncing around on his stick, and Benedetto backhands it to center. Cameron spins to Benedetto, Shooting! Nice save by DeMello. Cameron keeps it in. For Hamilton, Cameron comes into the slot, spins around, gets it to DeVoe, has it knocked off his stick, and Stony Creek will take it the other way. Peckham back there to break it up and get it to DeVoe. DeVoe, nice pass to Ratchuk with a head of steam. Ratchuk shoots, nice pad, saved by DeMello. He was going the other way, and Ratchuk had a head of steam in that zone. Boy, there's been some great hockey in this game. Face off in the Stony Creek zone. Fergus leads it in over the line to Conkle. Conkle brings it in for Stony Creek. Goes cross ice, but that's deflected away. Levelier makes one move, makes another move, intercepted by Conkle. Conkle keeps it in, a nice little pass to Heisey. Heisey in the slot area, puck bounces away, and Ratchuk finds it in his feet, gets it to the line, and out. Wow, what a play that was. He turtled it out of the zone. I've never seen that before. Drop back to Conkle. Here comes Heisey now for Stony Creek as he brings it in over the line. Salt plays it back, hacks away at it. Carnivale trying to bring it away. This line has been playing strong all night, but is yet to be rewarded. Cam Fergus into the slot, and that just deflects wide. 14.20 to go, third period. Hamilton leading 4-3. Stephen Thorne goes into the corner. Backhand gets out to center, and Blanchard coming off the bench has the puck for Stony Creek. A lead pass gets through. Williams banks that off the glass, and it does get out. Salt picks it up. Salt brings it in over the line. There's three over the line. Or on that side to Rinaldi. Rinaldi goes around the net now. Rinaldi has the puck. Takes it back to the point and brings it back into his own zone. Gosh, he's fast. Here comes Williams over the low Stony Creek line. Can backhand it in as it's intercepted. And Donati leaves it back there for Campoli. Chris Campoli with a lead pass. Blanchard, half shot fake. Point shot, deflected wide. Bounce comes in front. Fans, your Allen Cup hockey out of town scores in the third period in Dundas. The Whitby Dunlops lead the Dundas Real McCoys 7-4 in the third period. Zanette to take the draw in the Hamilton zone, and he won it. Ling has the puck out, brings it in over the line, over center. Taken to Zanette. Zanette, cross-ice pass in the slot. Oh, and Rinaldi couldn't get it out of his feet and get a decent shot away. Gangowski prepares for a collision with Ratchuk, but eventually just knocks the stick out of his hand. Roberto spins it around back. Ratchuk had to go get his stick. As Ling tried to cover for his man there, and it will be Ratchuk getting the puck out to center. Roberto picks up the puck over the center ice line. Comes into the zone. Roberto trying to drop it. Gets into the slot. Zanette picking up the puck for Hamilton, and everybody will regroup. Stony Creek and Hamilton making the... Oh, gave it away to Donati, and he scores. 
Oh, Zanette upset with himself there, and Stony Creek has tied it. We got a tie hockey game on a gift. Courtesy of Paul Sinet trying to get the puck up the ice. And he gave it right to Donati. And Donati fired it and beat Dunn. Stony Creek goal scored by number 19, Tyler Donati. Time of the goal, 12.48. Justin DaCosta now leads it back to Stony Creek. The Battle of Red Hill intensifies. DeVoe took a hit, and he is slow to get up. Slowly rising to his feet, the Stony Creek comes on over the line. Cousins finds Hewlett. Hewlett shoots, just misses. Another bounce. They jam away at it, and full extension of the pad is done as Peckham says enough of that. And good reach by Dunn there to keep that puck out as another lively bounce comes off the backboards. DeVoe seems to be you know, worse for the wear. He was slow getting up and late into that fray. But he'll head to the bench now, and both teams will put on fresh players. Fresh set of players. 12-14 to go, third period, 4-4 hockey game. Wow. Levelier with a puck. Fires it around to Thorne. Thorne. Hounded by Soares and Hewlett. He goes back of the Hamilton net, and that's intercepted by Hewlett. They try to poke it out, and Stony Creek doing a good job keeping Hamilton hemmed into their own zone. To the line, Salt out and down the ice. Goalie has his stamp for icing. Icing waved off because the players didn't skate. You got to at least go back and get it. Deflected pass goes all the way into Hamilton's zone, and Stony Creek will change. Dunn clears it out to center himself, where Bibich takes over for Stony Creek. Back it goes for Hotham. Hotham, long pass out of the zone, and that's offside as Heisey was ahead of Conkle on that play. 11.26 to go. We're getting in the late stages of this game, and it is an exciting one. Tied 4-4. Four to four. Face-off won by Rinaldi and flipped where Campoli takes over for Stony Creek. Big hack coming in from Rinaldi on Campoli. They both go behind the net. They still connect. They are looking to hit each other. They don't really seem to care about the puck. Taken away by Goggle in the slot. Nice save by Dunn. Fergus wins the draw so cleanly it goes all the way back to center. Stony Creek controls the puck in their own zone as Campoli and Blanchard play back and forth with it. Lead pass to Heisey. Heisey in over the line. Shooting, saved by Dunn. Rebound picked up by Rinaldi. And Rinaldi flips it to center. Tries to get it to Roberto, but Campoli read that and intercepted. And Stony Creek takes over control of the puck and head back into their own zone. Blanchard. Re Roberto trying to do a repeat. Campoli and Roberto battling hard along the boards. A lot of hitting in there, but no penalties. Conkle in over the line. Conkle has a man down, goes around. Everybody goes in front of the net. Back to the point. Blanchard shot, kicked away by Dunn. And with a head of steam, this is Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto off the bench, shooting. Save. Rebound. Another save by DeMello. Back of the net. And it's now Cameron picking it up in the corner. This line, furious action in there. All night, pushing hard on Stony Creek. But they clear it to center. Williams leaves it in there for Cameron. Cameron finds Di Benedetto in the slot. Big save, they score! No, waved off. It is waved off. No goals, says referee Pat Myers. As Di Benedetto continued into the net. Puck did go in, but they did collide with DeMello. But the faceoff will still be in that Stony Creek zone. 
If you collide with the goaltender, doesn't the face-off come outside? Giorgio, you know this stuff. Come on. I'm just the announcer. <laughs> Giorgio saying it's a rhetorical question, and by golly, he's right. But what action. That line all night. DeVoe, Di Benedetto, and Cameron giving Stony Creek fits. Stephen Thorne shoots. Rebound. Puck is loose, and it's just chopped wide. Cross ice pass goes to Cousins. Cousins in over the line, shoots, and Dunn gets a piece of that. DeVoe tried to backhand it to center, couldn't. DeVoe still with the puck, tries to push it back in his own zone, and Hamilton eventually takes over. D. Benedetto, a tour de force this evening. Coming in over the line, D. Benedetto has it just knocked off his stick. Intercepted by Cameron. Cameron in the slot shoots and a big save by DeMello. Oh, they're pouring on the pressure now. Williams shooting the puck out there and Gungalski eventually clears it out. Can you believe this? This is Thorne bringing the puck in. Thorne with another move, and it's intercepted by Soares, backing it out to center. This is Pajot over the line for Stony Creek. Pajot stops shooting, and that gets blocked. It goes into the corner for Soares. Soares trying to get it back to the point to Bivic. Bivic shooting, goes through the crease, deflected and out of the zone. Stony Creek will have to play it back at center. Intercepted by Hamilton. End-to-end -end hockey here at the Dave. Tie game 4-4. Cross ice pass in the skates of Ratchuk. And they hack away at it, but it's Dunn who's able to cover up finally. A wild one. End-to-end -end action. 8.37 to go. 4-4 the score. <laughs> I was wondering if there was music coming there. <laughs> Face off one by Stony Creek. They take it back to the point. Flip shot intercepted. Carnavalli, he's been hungry tonight and involved. Very all involved offensively. Salt into the slot for Levelier. Boy, if I had money on who gets the next one, it would be Levelier. He's been playing hard all night. But here comes Hewlett shooting. Nice glove save by Dunn. Eight seventeen to go. Third period. Four four. The score. Hamilton just able to get the puck out. Zanette brings it in over. Zanette looking for redemption. Back of the net it goes. Roberto. As it go past, and Stony Creek gets it out to center. It's deflected, but Conkle aiming for it now, and Rinaldi will pick it up and spin back in his own zone. Roberto, back of the net for Ratchuk. Ratchuk waiting while Hamilton plays it to center. Long lead pass, goes for icing. Face off in the Hamilton zone, and Hamilton wins it as Ratchuk chips it to center. Roberto has it just go over his stick, and Campoli fires it back in for Blanchard. Blanchard goes back to Campoli. Campoli fires it around and back to Blanchard. Stony Creek organizing in their own zone and looking for a breakout play. Heisey trying to get it. Goes through center, misses the chop. Di Benedetto pressuring. Back out there for Hamilton. He has two goals. So does Cameron, who also comes over the boards, and he's part of this DeVoe line. Into the slot, picked up by Cameron. Cameron finds Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto brings it in over the line. It's a three on two to DeVoe. DeVoe spins. They try to get it to the front of the net, but it's intercepted by Stony Creek. And Campoli spins around. And a long lead pass up there for Fergus, but Williams made a nice play to get back and take the man off the puck. Oh, and he's dumped hard by Ker Fergus. DeVoe trying to outmuscle his man for the puck. But it's, a cam it's eventually Cousins that picks it up for Stony Creek. And a lead pass finds its way to Heisey. Heisey brings it in over the line for Stony Creek. Heisey, cross ice pass. Nice move by Donati, but he's hit. And that's definitely going to be a penalty to DeVoe. As Donati, oh, there it is. 
I was wondering when the William in Onyebar would make an appearance. Hamilton penalty to number 34, Andre DeVoe. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 6.27. Back to the point to Costa. Fires it into the corner. Stony Creek with their power play as it gets a chance to go to work. Their power play has four goals this season and is at a proficiency of 86.7%. Hamilton adversely has a penalty killing. Sorry, Hamilton's penalty killing is 86%. Stony Creek's power play has eight goals for and 20%. Cousins brings it in over the line, but Roberto picks it up and plays it off the boards and out to center it goes where DaCosta picks it up. Long lead pass, oh boy. Lane was cheating there. Lane has the puck again. Minute 15 to go on the power play. Back to the point, shot by DaCosta, puck is loose. They hack away at it, and Dunn has it and makes sure he was able to get under that loose puck, and he just throws it at the face-off circle. He's had enough. He doesn't want that anywhere near his net. A full complement of changes coming for Stony Creek here as they get their Heisey Conkle, the lead leading scorer here, and Cam Fergus, who's been dangerous and great at knocking away pucks, will come out for the second half of this power play that has a minute eight to go in it. 5.35 left to go in the third period, 4-4 the score. Lead pass, trying to get it going. Hamilton does have a couple of shorthanded goals on this year. Three already to speak of this season. So look out for that, as that might have, be a factor too. Heisey in over the line, hacked by Peckham. Left there where Fergus picks it up. Fergus winds back, finds a spot on the half boards, gets it in the slot to Conkle. His deflected shot goes into the corner where Chris Campoli will pick it up for Stony Creek. Tries a cross ice pass, that hit Fergus. Now back of the net, Heisey. Heisey looking for options to pass in front. Intercepted smartly by Ratchuk, and a short little pass to Levelier doesn't get there. 20 seconds to go in the power play and Stony Creek still has the puck in the Hamilton zone. Campoli back at the point, shoots. Pad save by Dunn, rebound, another save by Dunn. And into the corner it goes. Stony Creek pouring on the pressure here. Slot pass, back to the point. Hotham shoots, saved by Dunn, puck is loose. Penalty over, and that goes into the Hamilton bench just as the penalty expires. And Hamilton escapes the Stony Creek onslaught. The Battle of Red Hill heating up tonight. 4-4 the score, 4.27 to go. Gonna be a good finish, Giorgio. Huh? <laughs> That's Ross's, Ross has come up with the Battle of Red Hill. Because it don't, I score! Point shot by Blanchard, and Dunn did not see it. Stony Creek goal scored by number 17, Sean Blanchard. Assist by number 97, Josh Soares. Time of the goal, 4.23. So Hamilton gonna have to come back to tie this one. Long shot from a difficult angle. DeMello not taking any chances. They wind it around the boards. Let up, this is Soares. Four minutes to go in this game. A hack coming back for Zanette. And he will go for slashing with 3.58 to go as he was trying to get back into the play. Hamilton penalty to number nine, Paul Zanette. Two minutes for slashing. That's... It's a tough penalty to take. So the escarpment just got a little steeper for Hamilton to climb. They'll have to kill off a Stony Creek power play 
They killed off the first one. And here's the second one. One by Stony Creek. DaCosta plays it over to Cousins. Cousins back to DaCosta. Down low it goes. Where Donati controls, gets it into the slot. Donati back to the point to DaCosta. DaCosta shoots through a maze and wide. Puck is scrambled at the side of the net. Donati puts it low. They center it and Dunn covers it. A minute 34 to go in the power play, but 3.32 left to go in the third period. And boy, what a finish here. I believe we saw a similar situation a few weeks ago. It was back on November 9th where Sullivan tied it late and Hamilton went on to win in a shootout, five to four. Hamilton looking for some of that magic here tonight. Out comes the Danko Jones. Puck is scrummed and the Stony Creek Generals win it. Donati moves into the slot area and they control the puck now down low and back at the half boards. On a power play here with a minute 20 to go, it's intercepted by Ratchuk and Ratchuk will flip it out to center where it goes back and intercepted by Thorne and Thorne gets it to D. Benedetto who's on a tough angle, fires wide into the corner. Donati hanging up long at center. Here's Donati, he's got a chance, brings it in over the line. He's got Gangowski with him. Donati plays it into the corner, looking to get it back to the point. That's DaCosta running this power play at the point. Cousins cross ice, Gangowski's hard shot goes high and wide and deflected. Cameron to D. Benedetto who has it in center. 40 seconds to go in the power play. Di Benedetto turns once and then dumps it all the way down the ice. And Hamilton kills some more time on this one with 30 seconds left in the Stony Creek power play. 2.27 to go in the third period. Stony Creek leading 5-4. to four. They'll bring it out to center. Heisey throws it over on that side to Fergus. Fergus plays it in the corner. Donati, sorry, Hotham over to Campoli. Cross ice pass is deflected cleverly by Salt, and there's just eight seconds left to go on the power play. We'll keep an eye on Dunn for you to see if he goes to the bench with two minutes left to go in this one as the power play for Stony Creek ends. They do control it in the Hamilton zone. Centered back to the point. Hotham shoots off a blocker high and intercepted and picked up. This is Zanette out of the box and into the play. Zanette gets it off a skate. Zanette makes one move and fires a shot just wide. Heisey tries to pick up the puck, and he dumps it down the ice, but it doesn't go far enough for icing. A minute 35 to go. Inters now it's taken over by Stony Creek behind the net. Big hit by Peckham on Fergus, but a clean one nonetheless. To center it goes. Zanette giving chase. Peckham has it bounce over his stick. Williams makes one move and gives it back to Peckham. Hamilton changing. Long pass over on that side that bounces off the stick of Roberto. Zanette picks it up, brings it in over the line. Has it in the corner, centers it. Puck comes back to the point where Peckham keeps it in. Goes into the corner. Just over a minute to go and Hamilton pressuring. Last minute of play in the third period. Hamilton putting on more pressure here. Rinaldi bumps his man in the corner. Goaltender is out. Puck goes all the way down the ice and this will just go far enough for icing with 49 seconds left in the third period. We'll look if Brent Pope calls a timeout here. They're talking it over by the bench. It is an icing. Peckham having cons more discussions with Lison. Timeout, Hamilton. So a big time out here with 49 seconds to go. It will be all hands on deck as Dunn is out of zone. And there's a... Sorry? Sure. If anybody has a found an iPhone, please report it to the front desk. Okay. 
So here comes the face off in the zone. Back to the point. Hamilton keeps it, but Stony Creek backhanding it now to the line and just out. Hewlett's stick goes into Williams' shoulder and Hamilton will have to regroup. D. Benedetto brings it in over the line for Hamilton. D. Benedetto puts it behind the net. Carnavalli couldn't get it. To the line, kept in by Ratchuk, intercepted, and it's an empty net for Pajo, and this is gonna do it for tonight as he just walks that one in with 22 seconds left in the game. And that will do it for tonight. As Stony Creek comes back from a goal deficit in this third period and will take a 6-4 win back down the hill. Stony Creek goal by number 14, Nathan Pajo. Time of the goal, 22 seconds. Back of the net it goes, and Stony Creek is going to walk away with a victory here tonight. That puck goes to center, and Ratchuk will take it in with just under 10 seconds to go. <laughs> and the puck, the game ends as Tessarola gets some unsolicited feedback from the crowd at the end of the game. Fans. Thanks for attending tonight's game and starting out your weekend with the Hamilton Steelhawks. The next Hamilton Steelhawks home game is Friday, January 11th, when we host the Whitby Dunlocks. Puck drop is at 7.30 p.m. From all of us at the Hamilton Steelhawks, good night and please get home safely. By the way, if anyone has found an iPhone, a missing iPhone, please report it to the front desk where the ticket agency is. From all of us at the Hamilton Steelhawks, have fun and get home safe.